Hello everyone, and welcome to my video about Project Grappler. So, this is going to be a pretty lengthy video, but I'm going to split it up in sections um, based on every aspect of the game. So, we're going to do like an introduction, styles, stats, everything a beginner would need to know to um, play Project Grappler. So, um, the timestamps will be down in the description. I'm going to split them up into hopefully pretty comprehensible, not too long segments, but it might be a long video just because of how much content this game actually has. Um, so yeah, basically an introduction is, this is Project Grappler. It's a one, two-man dev team um, with Ukiyama and Tweed, and it's in, it's in early alpha stages right now. But there's a lot of stuff coming out, and it's very promising. So I, I do suggest you give it a play. There's, it came out like um, like five days ago um, in open alpha testing. If you like games like uh, Ken Omega, Project Grappler, Mighty Combat, those kind of games, this game could really appeal to you. Um, but you know, you still gotta give it a try. It's very, um, it gives people what they want. Like in my opinion, this game has a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, basically, let's just get into it. Um, so what you should do at the start is you look at your stat menu. I'll, I'll run, I'll go over all the stats so that you know what's going on. Durability is your HP, not to be confused with endurance. Durability is HP, how much damage you take. Uh, strength is your damage output, the damage you do on others when you punch. Reflex is a chance to dodge. Um, it's not too good and it's really hard to train, but there's a new update coming that will make it easier to train so it might be better, but in its current state, 2.2, it's not that good. Um, agility is your punch speed and run speed and chance to hit people with reflex, and that's the main reason why reflex isn't too good because everyone trains agility. Um, so, see how slow, uh, well, that guy's trying to hit slow. Uh, let me see if I can find someone with slow punching. This guy. See how his punches are pretty slow? And then you look at my punches. My punches are pretty fast because I have high agility. And then endurance. This is the most important stat in the game for new players. Oh, well, you know what? One of the most important. There's two most important stats. This is one of them. This is your stamina, okay? And stamina, when you're a new player, is absolutely brutal. You really have to train stamina a lot or else you're going to get fucked. Um... Yeah, so like when you're new, see how punches aren't even a, my my stamina bar isn't moving. It's not it's not glitch. Like here, if I do this, see, I just have a shit ton of stamina. Um, but um, yeah. So when you first start in the game, um, you're gonna have no fighting style. Mine's boxing. We'll go over that later though. And you're gonna have a random amount of development potential. Now, development potential is a stat that people start with at random. But everyone raises it equally, and 5 is the max. Um, you could start with 0 0.5, you could start with 5, you could start with 3, doesn't matter. But the best way to raise development potential, in my opinion, is punching the air or punching things like reflex dummies and durability dummies, which we'll get to. But the first thing you want to do is look at your development potential. If it's like 0 to 0 0.5, that's really bad. If it's like 1 to 1 1.5, that's not that bad but it's it's not very good if it's like two to four it's amazing I've never seen that happen before and if it's five I've never even heard of that so low development potential is really bad when you first start but how it works is whenever you raise a stat you um, you have a chance to upgrade your development potential um, and it's really rough at the start because your push-ups will be giving like two strength or one strength with like really low development potential um, which really screws you over um, but it's not that hard to train it might take like an hour or so to get it maxed I don't know I, I don't really remember um, but yeah so you first spawn in you have low development potential and you have no stamina what I suggest you doing is find the parking garage it's right there or the statue of the creators or the bus you know kind of get familiar with this area. This is kind of like the area that leads to everywhere. Um, there's also a huge Tokyo Dome from Baki. 
Um, oh, I forgot to say, this game's based off Baki. Um, Baki the Grappler. It's a manga and anime by Kisuke... I don't remember his name. Whatever. But the cool thing about this game is that it takes a lot of inf inspiration from other animes. There's um, Water Smash Streaming Rock Fist or whatever from One Punch Man. I'll see if I can find someone that has it. Um, I think... Hello. Um, this guy has it. Let's see, AFK. Yeah, see, that's a water uh, stream rock smashing fist from One Punch Man. Um, so yeah, it's got something from One Punch Man, and there's a new uh, NPC coming to the game that is uh, Saitama, and he'll give you quests to do stats. And there's also Renewal Taekwondo from God of High School. And um, there's stuff from One Piece in here. There's Three Sword Style. But it's it's a limited time thing. It's going to come out soon. It's only going to be available for two days. Anyways, that's why I thought a lot of people would be interested in this game. Because even if you don't like Baki or have never heard of Baki, you might like God of High School or you might like um, One Punch Man or one of those. And those are in this game. And this game is not limited to Baki even though there is a lot of Baki stuff. So, when you first spawn in, here's what you want to do. You want to go to this area, um, if you want, this is, I wouldn't suggest this as much, but you can if you want. Um, these dummies, when you hit them, they give you reflex. Um, I mean, if you're going to hit the air for development potential and stamina, anyways, uh, yeah, go for it. Go on these to raise your development potential. Um, but what I what I what I suggest doing more is going over here to the parking garage and taking a right and going to this little dojo and training on these guys. These guys damage you based on your strength, but they give you durability and this will raise your HP by a lot and you'll thank me when you're stronger and um, it'll raise your development potential like crazy. Um, so I really do suggest um, training on these and then whenever you're low on HP just punch the air keep training and yeah that's what I suggest you do when you're new and then when you've done that a bit I suggest you look for a dojo now I rent a lot of dojos with my dojo saw scaled vipers or sometimes I do project grappler dojos these are open to anyone if you're interested in joining the dojo just let me know in the comments it's open to anyone just let me know and I'll set you up um, but what these dojos do is when you enter the dojo um, it slowly drains stamina when you're low level but it gives you three times XP so <laughs> using a dick and shutting the doors on me but it gives you three times XP so look at my endurance right now right so it goes up like that uh, I get like like 40 endurance per combo but then if I go here I get like 10 or 20. So it, it gives 3 times XP. It's not it's not that noticeable with that example, but um, trust me, it's really noticeable. Um, they cost 10,000 yen per minute, or per 30 minutes, sorry. Um, so that's why you kind of want to look for one when you're new, but I will tell you how to, um, how to get yen, but it's really hard when you're new. So let me tell you how to train. So for durability, you want to do sit-ups or hit the durability dummy. For strength, you want to do push-ups or go to the gym. I really don't suggest the gym though, it really sucks. Um, for reflex, you want to get hit by other players, but preferably you want to train on the reflex Wing Chun dummies. Um, for agility and endurance, they both have the same training method, you just punch the air. Every training gives an endurance, but punching the air is the fastest way. Um, and for development potential, every training in the game gives it, but I suggest punching the air since it gives you the most stats. Like the, see, it's way faster than doing like a setup. Um, and when people, I notice that when people start this game, they really don't know how to train. They really don't know how this system works. So what you do is, when the blue bar is inside of this red area, you want to click, and it will do your workout. It won't do it this fast because my durability is really high. Um, the ha the faster, um, the higher your stats are, the faster your workouts are. And there's workout evolutions, like mine is a diamond push-up, it's not the normal push-up. 
Um, there's also dumbbells that get like it's like way harder dumbbells. See that one's pretty fast. This one's really slow based on my strength. Um, so those are other training methods, but those are pretty like mid to late game. Um, so yeah, so just train your stats up. Um, now I'm going to mo be moving on to why you want to train your stats. Um, this game has a lot of styles. It has probably about 10 right now, but there's like two coming out soon. Um, and each style is going to be getting like a bunch of skills. Like there's one style out right now that's a sword that's been out since the beginning of time, and it is getting three skills soon. Um, it's called Aijutsu. Um, it's right over here. It's not that hard to get, but it's not the easiest. So if you like swords, there's this one, but there's also three sword style coming out. So what you do to get a style is you talk to the sensei, and he'll give you a new task. You go to your menu to see, right? Okay, nine nine thousand strength. And you, you know, you train your strength, right? They do take quite a while, but trust me, it's worth it. Um, different styles give different things. So I'm gonna go over the styles that are in the game right now. There is Aijutsu that we just went over the swords. There's Muhammad Ali mixed martial arts, um, which is up there on top of the parking garage. He's right there. Um, that's Muhammad Ali Jr. style from Baki. There's a uh, Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist, which is Garu style from One Punch Man, um, or Bangs. I don't know. I haven't really watched One Punch Man, so it is through this little tunnel near the parking garage. Um, not up here, not up that mountain, but up this mountain. Go up there, and it'll be up there. There's two dojos. It's the one farthest. Um, and then you talk to Bang. It's one of the hardest style. It's like the hardest style to get. So if you are a fan of One Punch Man, be prepared to grind. But I mean, that's kind of what this game's about. Um, there's hidden weapons from Baki. The user is Hector Doyle. He's a death row inmate from Baki. Um, I think that style is in here. It's in an alleyway somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Hector Doyle. So this guy will teach you hidden weapons. The bounty. Oh, so this is the ramen shop. Here, wait, give me a sec. What the hell? Okay, I don't know what that is. I think it's a bounty. So this is the ramen shop. This is where our next style is. Jinju Doodly. It, it's a golden rooster. It's a Bruce Lee style. Um, but this, ra this shop is... Um, exclusive to this ramen shop you have to like join this group and he's upstairs if you can see his outline up there um, but yeah that it won't let you go up there unless you're in the group see um, so yeah um, what's our other style renewal taekwondo from god of high school it is down here so Here's Renewal Taekwondo. It's one of the harder styles to get, but it doesn't take that long. There's Boxing, which is what I have. It's a pretty fast style. Um, it's It does like quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, but it's, it's pretty fast. Um, there's one of the Boxing skills. Um, wait, who? what's the next style? Oh, Brute. Brute is um, Pickles style from um, Baki. Uh, he's a caveman from Baki. Um, if you haven't heard of Baki, go watch it, by the way. Um, he's over here. So you look for this huge dome where Renewal Taekwondo is, and then you go to this field and he's right there. So that that's all the styles, and then there's different skills for the styles, but there's also separate skills that don't count as a style. Here's the first one. It's called Whip Strike. Um, I'll put a picture of it. I'll put a picture of all the styles up. But um, this is Whip Strike. It's from Baki. It's like a really fast speed slap that like rips the skin off people. Um, it's pretty powerful, but and it's really really easy to get. So I guess if you just wanted to get a skill real quick, I guess get that. Um, the next one is oh, there's Boxing Trainer by the way. He's right across from the uh, from Hector Doyle and right near the bus. Um, the other skill is Enlightenment, which boost your reflex and agility by a lot um, so it makes your punch speeds way 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 faster and makes you dodge a lot but it, it's for a short time um, the enlightenment trainer is I don't remember where he is. oh wait he got moved I think he used to be oh no he's right here my, my bad 
Here's Enlightenment. Um, it's really good. I suggest you get this. The only thing is that this is pretty hard because you have to train a lot of reflex. Um, so yeah, that's all the skills and the locations of them. Um, what do you want to know next? Let's see. Um, oh, how to earn how to earn yen. So yen is a very very valuable thing in this game. If you don't have yen, you don't have XP. Um, it can make the dojos, but other people buy dojos and you can join their dojo. There's there's a bunch of groups. There's um there's my group, which is I think the biggest group in the game right now. Um, and then there's Budokami, which is owned by an admin. Um, it's I think it's the second biggest. Um, it might be bigger I don't, than me. I don't know. Um, but they're they're pretty cool. But they they have pretty strict um, joining, so it's not good for new players. But anyone is free to join my dojo if they want XP. Um, so what you want to do for Yen is get like 5,000 strength. Um, see why I say it's pretty hard to um, get Yen as a new player. Um, 12,000 strength, one combos these thugs. So you get this quest to kill five thugs. So you go over here, boom, um, boom, 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 right? Kill the thugs. Oh wait, there's one more. And you get reputation. Now, reputation is one of the three career paths you can go. When you get over 10,000 reputation, um, you're going to uh, you're going to get hourly yen based on your reputation, and it scales with how much reputation you have. So every hour I get like 25,000, 20,000 yen or something like that. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a good guy, um, I suggest grinding a lot of rep. Um, there's another job path called uh, Bounty Collector, which doesn't make... Well, it can make as much money, but it, it's less reliable, I'd say. Um, and you really have to be strong to be a Bounty Collector. The Bounty Board is in this place, Kujiwara's Ramen Shop. I don't really know how to get a Bounty. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's broken, or... It, I don't know if it's not out yet, but yeah, you get Bounties here. Um... It was just no, there are people. Um, and then the last option is a criminal, which needs minus reputation. Um, but the criminals um, get to go to China. Well, everyone can go to China, but they they go to China, and there's a secret criminal shop that can hold weapons, XP boosters, and all that stuff. Um, now that sounds good, but criminals don't really have a way to make money um, yet. But I think they're gonna add a way. But the muscle boosters, the XP boosters, are really expensive. So if you have a lot of money and you just want to like go criminal, that would be a good idea to go criminal when you have a lot of money. I'm talking about millions. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a good way to go. Criminal, if you are really rich. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you gain yen. The main way of getting yen is over 10,000 rep. Um, another way of getting rep is winning tournaments. Um, there's a tournament that happens every two hours in a server. It gives you like 10,000 or 5,000 reputation and a bunch of money if you win. Um, it, I think you need like 15,000 power level um, m uh, minimum to get it, uh, to get in. And then there's an even more serious tournament called the Great Raitai, which happens in China every 24 hours. Um, and you need 200,000 power level to enter. Um, and you get like way more reputation and way more yen. Um, and I think you get some stats. So if you really like competing in tournaments, there's hourly, uh, there's bi hourly and daily tournaments um, that are run by the server. And the admins like help out with the tournaments. So it's like a real community thing. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I suggest going to a tournament sometime. Um, so yeah, that's another way to gain reputation if you're strong. Um, what else do I cover? Oh yeah, the new... So, there's not a lot of skills in this game right now. There's like three. But they are coming out with um, three new skills, which are... Three new light Aijutsu skills, which are... Um, 
I don't remember the names of them, but they just, they're like a bunch of sword skills. One, like, teleports you forward and does, like, a slash behind you, and then there's a bunch where you slash really fast and make explosions and stuff. Um, they just added a boxing skill that increases your strength, agility, and reflex by a lot. Like, it just puts you in, like, a, like a beast mode. And then they, um, they're adding Yujiro's demon back from Baki. Um... And they are adding three sword style and a bunch of skills for that. And they're adding a skill for water stream, rock smashing fist, or whatever. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go over all the training spots in the game. So the main training spot that you're probably going to be training in is a dojo. This gives the most XP and it's the most beneficial for a lot of people. Um, another good training spot is the durability dummies. These give a lot of stats. Oh, and most of the training in this game gives stats based off your stats. So you won't be getting this much durability, but it's based off my strength. So yeah, that's that's um, that's um a way to get durability. We already went over the reflex. Um, I'll go over the gym in a minute. It's not that good. It's really bad. But it does have stuff you can buy there. Um, up here is the, one of the best training spots in the game. It's but it's for really really high levels. It's called Dwayne. We call him Dwayne. It's just a huge fucking rock that you just punch, um, and it gives strength and durability based on your strength every punch. But it's really tough. Like he does a lot of damage. Uh, there's someone training up there right now. I think it's Yaki Hato. He's a uh, he's an admin. Um, I'm gonna see. Yeah, he's training up there. See it here. If I if I hit that thing, it does a lot of damage to me, and I have like a lot of um, poor Yaki. I have a lot of durability, but it does scale with your strength, the damage. So, oh shit! Oh <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this 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 dude. I love Yaki. By the way, this is the best admin. Alright, guess we're not going to be homo today. I was going to say I love you, but... <sighs> Dude, I fucking hate this game. This game's so fucking bad. <laughs> I hate Roblox. Anyways, um... So yeah, I think I covered everything. I oh, I'm gonna go to China. I'll show you guys China. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna trim this video down a little bit, but currently it's like 23 minutes. That's a bit long, but I did cover literally everything you can cover in the game. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to China to show you guys what's up. Oh, music! I want to get copyrighted. All right. So here's China. Over there is a special dojo owned by the Tome Celestials. Um, I I wouldn't really go there unless you're in there. Here's the Rai Tai. Um, this is where all the tournaments take place, or the the huge Rai Tai tournament um, in this in this arena. It's gonna be reworked. Um, but yeah, that's that's where the Rai Tai takes place. Um, the the reason why people train in dojo or in China is because um, the servers hold 50 people, and the Tokyo ones only hold 12, so people do like a huge like dojo event here. See, this is the dojo in China. It's not owned right now, what the hell? Whatever. Oh, people are fighting. Um, the special quest you can do in uh, China, the martial arts pupils. Oh, this server's laggy for me. Oh, no, it's not. Um, that gives you criminal stuff. And then, also over here is the criminal shop. I can get a quick look in there, but it teleports you out if you don't have the... Yeah, that's where you buy the muscle boosters. I don't have negative reputation, so I can't go in there. Yeah, China's pretty cool. There's go there's a bunch of new there's a bunch of stuff coming to China, and a bunch of stuff coming to Tokyo. And here's an update that I am super excited for. Um, a lot of people do not like this system. This adrenaline, it's called the adrenaline system with the red bar. A lot of people hate this. Um, and I, I kind of agree with them. I, I think it's, the only reason I hate it is because you got to wait for like, dude, like, my my sit-ups are so fast, but I got to wait for the the blue to hit the red bar, and it's just, it's awful. Um, 
but Uki, the owner, is working on an update that is going to add combos to it. So the more you combo, the uh, the more stats you get, and the um, there's going to be a, a little yellow bit in the middle called Adrenaline Rush, and when you hit it, you're just going to be able to like spam click um, and get like a shit ton of stats. Um, Um, so yeah, that's coming soon, hopefully, but yeah, that's one of the most hype updates. Um, oh, and a lot of people were asking me how I get the golden dumbbell. This is a tester item that you got from, um, pre-alpha testing. You have to be really strong to use it, but, um, it gives strength and durability. It's not too good, but yeah, so don't, don't, um feel like you're cheated if you didn't get in pre-alpha. The, the the dumbbell isn't amazing. Um, but yeah. That's really all I have to cover if you... <laughs> um, if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. I hope I covered everything. I tried to make a really in-depth, extensive guide to make everything clear. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and edit this video. I've never really edited a video before because I never really took YouTube seriously. But I'm going to try and take this video a little bit more seriously. Edit the video and um, put timestamps. Um, so it's going to be like a f like an info book. Wh whenever you need the info, you can just go to that timestamp and I'll try and form you in on it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to spend a lot of time on it. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.